click on the settings icon and under the PBX section, click on the general icon. Here, you can configure your extension range. The default user extension range is from extension 1000 to 5999. You can keep the default settings or you can change it according to your needs. The extension numbers must be two to seven digits in length. In this example, we will change the range to 8,000 through 9,000. Click Save and Apply. Now let's create extensions. Click on Extensions. In this page, we can see the default extensions of the system. Since we have changed the extension range, the extensions that do not fall in the new range need to be deleted. Check the All button at the top, and here you can modify or delete all extensions. In this example, we will click Delete. Now we will click Add to add individual extensions. In Extension Type, you can choose among SIP, IAX, and FXS. You can choose one or multiple types, so different terminals can share the same extension number. In this example, let's check SIP. The S series supports SIP forking, so the extension number can be registered on as many as five IP or soft phones at the same time. The registration password is generated by the system randomly. Please note that the more complicated the password, the more secure your extension is from being hacked. Next, we will fill in the extension's username and user password. The user password will be used to log in the extension to the web configuration panel. Next, let's fill in the email address. The email address will be used to recover the user password, receive email notifications, access voicemail and faxes. Next, let's fill in the mobile phone number. We can set up the prompt language by keeping the system default or changing it to a different language. More prompt languages are available by download under Voice Prompt. Click Save. In this next extension, we will show you how to add bulk extensions. Notice we can create 10 SIP extensions starting from 8001. Click Save and Apply. Now let's configure user permissions. Every newly created extension will have some default user permissions. Here we can log in with the extension 8000's username and password. We have access to the extension's call history, voicemail, and some additional settings. Now let's log back in as an administrator and show you an example of how to add or take away additional user privileges for this extension. Click on Settings and under System you will find the User Permission icon. In this example, we will use the drop-down window to select user extension 8000. We can set the privileges as an administrator, or we can set it to custom. If we choose custom, no privileges are added by default, and privileges can be selected easily. Notice, if you choose administrator, all privileges will be checked, and you can uncheck some just as easily. 
For example, if you uncheck Event Center, the user will not have the permissions to access Event Center. Let's click Save. Now we will log out and log back in as user 8000. You can see user 8000 now has more privileges and can configure more settings. Let's register a SIP extension. In our next example, we use a Yealink phone to demonstrate how to register user 8000 to the S-Series PBX. First, we open our browser. Enter the Yealink's phone IP address. Please note, this IP address must be in the same network as the S-Series PBX. To configure the Yealink SIP phone, drop down the account window and choose one available account to register SIP extension 8000. Drop down Line Active and choose Enable. Let's fill in the relevant extension information. Register name corresponds to the extension's registration name. In this example, we will use 8000. Username corresponds to the extension number. Again, we will use 8000. Under SIP Server, fill in the S-Series PBX's IP address and the port number. The port is 5060 by default. If the PBX's UDP port has not been changed, you can keep the default. Click Submit. After a few seconds, the phone's register status will show Registered. Let's look back at our S-Series web GUI. Click on the PBX monitor icon and you will notice that extension 8000 is registered. We can see the SIP extension 8000 now has a green icon indicating the extension is registered. The S-Series also provides a phone provisioning feature so you can configure IP phones in bulk. This will save you substantial time. Currently, this feature is applicable to mainstream IP phones on the market. Some examples are Yealink, Polycom, Cisco, Grandstream, Fanville, and Snow. In one of the following lessons, we will give detailed phone provisioning instructions. Next, let's configure analog extension. Before configuring analog telephone extensions, you need to confirm that the S-Series has the proper S2 and or SO modules installed properly. In this example, we will add 8011 as an FXS extension and select the correct physical port. We have selected port 1 of span 1. Click Save and Apply. Connect the analog phone to port 1 of span 1. Now, let's test our setup. The analog extension 8011 rings. Let's test the setup in the other direction. Use the analog phone and dial the SIP phone with extension 8000.